All right. Welcome to All Life Mass TV. My name is Jix Anemo. And in today's class, we have a very sweet challenge. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop wonderful video, nice video, like the one you are about to watch right now. So with that said, sit back and relax as we dive into today's challenge. Let's go. So we take our solution. From here we have here, solution. And what is the question? The question says, if e to the power of 4x minus 4 e to the power of 2x minus 1 equal to 0. What then is the value of x that will satisfy this equation? So let's write down our expression. So from here we have here e to the power of 4x minus 4 e to the power of 2x minus 1 or equal to 0. Okay. From here we look critically. If you look at this, this is power of 4x, this is 2x. What if I said, let mm, e to the power of 2x be the e having the minimal power of now say let e to the power of 2x equal to y. So at the same time, if e to the power of 2x is equal to y, then therefore, for sorry therefore okay therefore e to the power of 4x will now be equal to what y square okay so let's substitute this into the first expression so if we do that this will give us y okay so let's say this implies y square minus 4y minus 1 or equal to zero now this is a quadratic equation and um, if you look at this quadratic equation we cannot solve this using the factorization method if we look at it critically we cannot use the factorization method okay so what we do we use our quadratic formula so from here now say using the quadratic the quadratic formula we go ahead to bring out our quadratic formula our quadratic equation formula which says that if you have x this we give us here minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a Okay, the next thing we do now is to come to our equation here and bring out the value of A, B, and C from this place here. So from here, let's proceed. So let's proceed from here. Okay, if we proceed, the value of our A from our quadratic equation, x, A is equal to positive 1, B is equal to minus 4 and c c is equal to rc is minus 1. okay so we now go ahead and put all this into this formula we have in here okay so let's go ahead and do that so substituting this we give us this implies here we have minus 4 minus 4 plus minus the square root of minus 4 all squared minus 4 times our a is 1 times minus 1 again all over 2 into 1 very easy okay so from here let's open up our bracket Dx will give us plus 4 plus minus the square root of minus 4 square will give us positive 16 
minus times minus will give us plus here. The 4 all over 2. Okay, so we can go ahead to add this up. All right, so if we add this up, this will give us 4 plus minus the square root of 20 all over 2. And if you look carefully, now this 20 can also be expressed in this form. Look at this 20. From here, if we have root, okay, let me put it down here so that you see it. If we have root 20 from sword, this is same thing as root 5 times root times 4 rather. So this will give us 2 root 5. Okay, so 20 could be written as 2 root 5. So if we go ahead to write this, this will now become 4 plus minus 2 root 5 all over 2. Any confusion? No. All right, so let's proceed. But before we proceed, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button because we drop wonderful video every day. At least one every day. Okay. All right. So let's go on here now. Here we are having four. Here we are having two. So we can factor out two. Yeah. If we do that, this we automatically give us. Yeah. This now implies two into four. We give us two. Bring your plus minus. The here will give us one left. So square root of five. Okay. Then close bracket all over two now so what happens here now the two at the top we take care of the two at the bottom so here we are now left with dex so this now become two plus minus the square root of five so this is the value of r y so let's proceed from here okay so but recall we said from here, we said, let y equal to 2, sorry, okay. From here, we said, let y equal to e to the power of 2x. So if we bring back our expression, we say recall, recall that y equal to e to the power of 2x. So look at our y here. So this now implies that e to the power of 2x equal to our expression we have in here, 2 plus minus root 5. Okay, here we have a problem with our natural log here. So what we do here to eliminate this natural log, we have to bring in another natural log, which is the i n. Okay, so the i n, if we bring out the I n, which is the in function to take care of this. So from here, let's proceed again from here. So from here, we introduce our natural log to both sides, which is the I n. So let's bring in I n to this. So from here, we now have this to be I n times e to the power of 2x. We do that to this same side. To give us here in bracket 2 plus minus root 5 close our bracket. So with this, this we take care of this. So we are now left with your 2x. So we now have here 2x equal to i n bracket 2 plus minus root 5 close bracket we're looking for x not 2x so we divide both side by our 2n so full divide divide through through by 2 so this gives us 2x all over 2 equal to n bracket 2 plus minus root 5 okay all over 2 at this point, 2 we take care of itself downward here. So at the bottom here, we are now left with x is equal to 
we have here i n bracket 2 plus minus root 5 close bracket all over 2 so the possible value which are the two possible values of x we from here give x therefore x we gave us here 1 all over square bracket i n close bracket 2 plus root 5 close bracket and a square bracket r r yeah 1 all over 2 square bracket i n bracket 2 minus root 2 close bracket okay so these are the two possible values for the variable x all right so if you gain value from this short video kindly indicate that in the comment section by saying thanks by giving our videos a thumbs up okay we are always ready we are always there to reply to your comment or you have any question with regard to this solving to this exponential drop it in the comment section i am a team we are very good at supplying your comments okay and don't forget to share with your friends with your nearly colleagues okay those that need the knowledge of this mathematics so that they can equally learn something from it too thank you for being there online mass tv loves you jakes loves you bye for now